Hello, Pathway citizens. This is a news update. I had the most privilege to acquire land on Second Life. My amazing partners, Kylie and Jillian G, gave me a blessing today. And it's a gift of grace. And what this means for Pathway on Second Life helps cultivate education, prayer, conversations, helping to stimulate the economy, and find ways to improve humanity. So I'll keep it brief. This location is reserved for all Pathway members in Pathway Universe. We accept guest visits, however, because we are in a private location, there are rules that must be abide. Only exclusive Pathway citizens on our Pathway Universe network are obligated, free of charge, admissions to set home here in our Pathway group. And as this is a video about set home here, I will only collaborate with my Pathway citizens on this location. However, if my Pathway citizens and my Pathway guests on Second Life were to discuss visiting this location, all I ask is please be courteous to the landowner, which is Kaylee and Jillian G. I, I am required by a standard that I will inform them of all my intended guests and citizens that come on this sim and visit this location. Through, I don't want this to be something that has to be strictly enforced regarding to limit any of my Pathway citizens or guests. However, it is in fairness to the sim owner, which is Kylie and Jillian G, to respect their authority and their rule because we are in a different domain. Second Life and Open Simulator are very alike. However, since 2007, Path, um, Second Life and Linden Labs has closed access through an IBM collaboration which previously allowed Second Life and Open Sim access to Hypergrid. However, what Pathways trying to do with education is different. We're trying to collaborate both on Pathway Universe, which is a separate entity, and Second Life, which is a second entity. Now, we do not discuss on various of our embassies on other virtual worlds or how they handle this, this objective. However, Pathway is an education resource and Pathway respects all of our embassy holders, especially the one in OS Grid, which we hold an embassy, and Virtual Dream Grid, which we hold an embassy, and the Neverworld Grid, which we hold an embassy. And we hold embassies in various other channels. 
And we thank all those virtual world grids for our partnerships in hospitality and governance. And we also thank Linden Labs and Second Life for allowing a open channel for sharing education topics, democracy, and freedom of speech, and freedom to be who you are. I give shout outs to my favorite Linden, April Linden, which I had a few occasions on speaking with her. She is the head of Linden Labs as as she collaborates on network security and various other channels. And um, I want to say as the founder and chairman of Pathway Council, it is in my utmost respect to all these organizations that they are, they are doing the best they can to bring in a better humanity for all, all of us. Now, please follow our terms of service, Second Life's terms of service, Kaylee's and Jillian G's terms of service. And I could read it to you, their terms of service. So their terms of service mentions limit one per person, uh, do not put public ban lights, and do not abuse region resources. Let's see. And pretty much it says pretty much to follow the rules and respect other people's privacy, respect the rules on Second Life and the rules on Pathway, and be the best you can. Because virtual world is only one step from the physical world, the real world. So... Just because we are in a 3D environment doesn't mean that our, our real identities are in the virtual world community by the servers that are running on and the, the, the communication channels that we're talking. They're all connected to people and we pay respects to the people running the servers, running the services and running the community. Please honor this with all due to respect. I'm going to show you briefly around the area with pri protecting privacy of my neighbors or our neighbors. So this is the embassy that, I, that we have on Second Life. It may be a basic practical location, I mean location, it may be a basic practical building. However, it is a rare opportunity to have such amazing partners. Kylie puts in efforts and invests into the community of Second Life, and we owe her much of do respect and 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 Jillian too puts in a lot of resources and time and commitment into the Second Life community. So if you see them in world, I don't suggest uh, interrupting them. However, if you want to give them thanks for allowing us to have an embassy in Second Life, um. Message me first, and then I will ask them if they would want to be thanked. However, as I talked to them earlier, it seemed to be okay. 
However, um, just please respect other people's boundaries. This is our official Second Life flag with Pathway and Second Life. And then I'll show you inside. Now, the thing is, it's kind of empty right now because I eventually will probably add a few things in here. We have a prim limit, which I'll discuss to our select members, but um, at this time, only our Pathway citizens can set home here. However, I'll probably work on furnishing this location. So, so if someone wants to stay overnight, let's say, for instance, I'm having a maintenance on Pathway Universe, and um, you really want to hang out with your friends on Second Life or your friends uh, in Pathway, then you could spend the night here or the day. I have to um, keep in touch with the land owner, Kylie and J Jillian G, de determine um, the up-to-date up information about having the the notices about uh, maintaining the location that we are in however please be advised that uh, there may be times where this location um, may disappear because uh, it's it's going through uh, multiple channels and um, that's uh, a mention that I will talk to exclusively to my Pathway citizens and Pathway guests that are connected to Pathway citizens. So in this brief video, I'm just going to show the inside of the building and uh, go from there. So pretty much that's it. Um, Again, this will be eventually furnished, so for now, I want to keep it pretty simple and not overindulge. Or overplan, I mean, my bad. It's a humbly endeavor that both Jillian G and Kaylee did for us in Pathway and we would like to return the um, the honor if they ever choose to join us in Pathway Universe to set up in a location just for the two to have a location made for them in Pathway Universe I just have to find the budget to put it on the server and um, eventually I'll be able to do these things on Pathway Universe and help out people. Alright, that is all. Signing off, Alexander the Great One Resident on Second Life. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.